All right, in this video, I'm going to be going over basically the entire new NBA Youngboy album. Instead of playing each song one by one, I'm just going to play it, um, give you my reaction and any crazy part that he might have in it. We do know to hype up this album. He took a lot of shots at a lot of people. 21 Savage, Little Dirk, NLE Choppa ended up getting involved out of absolutely nowhere, catching some strays. And this is because he has Quando Rondo on his label. He's friends with Quando Rondo, so he's going to make an op out of anybody who isn't on Quando Rondo's side. And we're going to see, he used it a lot to hype up this album. We have Quando on one of the tracks, so I'm sure he's going to mention it. But I'm going to see if at any particular part, he actually goes directly at these guys or at anybody in general. So I'll let you know what we find on our first song, Long Live. Long Live, the first one, it, he puts out albums consistently. He's just out of jail, and he, I don't know how he maintains this quality. I mean, it's another classic one. If you like him, this is something that you want from him, and um, it sounded great. It sounded like there were some references in there that I just completely missed, but the second track gets a lot more interesting, so we'll just jump straight to that one then. Bring It On is simply Young Boy's bread and butter. This is what he does. This is what his audience listens to him for. Great quality, great mixing, great production. This is going to be one of the more popular songs on the album, I'm sure of it. But um, I actually, there's been a couple confusions with just this second song alone. But I ended up listening to every uh, the entire album before the second song. Going back to it, it sounds good. It sounds like one of the ones that is going to stand out out of everything on here. But there's plenty more to come. All right, so here we go. The end of song three, no switch. Uh, this is, it's... Honestly, it's just exactly what you expect when you listen to Youngboy. And I'm sure this one with Quando Rondo is going to be all about Dirk and all about Vaughn. And it's going to be real interesting when we get to that one. I haven't listened to Youngboy a lot. I'm not really that big of a fan. I have to say his consistency and like he, his floor just isn't low. I feel like if you like him, the majority of the songs he put out puts out, at least on this particular album, you're going to enjoy. Um, He tried to take a little bit of a different style with this one. I'm surprised how much he, he mentions his kids, even though he throws in murdering everybody. But it, it's a pretty interesting mix. Uh, this one, again, could have had some, towards the beginning, could have had some parts directed towards Vaughn. But I, I don't think it's, it's obvious enough to say that that was certainly what he was going for. So next, we're going to go for whatever this song is. Let's see. Two... To ho is what we're gonna call it and we're gonna go straight to that one and see what we get there all right all right so two woo or two who whatever this one is actually a huge change of pace i like this he's going for something different going for something that's gonna get him some more streams and everything like that and it's actually a different style from everything else he has on his album it seems like what he does is with the majority he's gonna go for his core fan base and then he's gonna have some that are a bit more not really experimental but he's trying to catch streams with songs like this. I think this one absolutely could make a lot of sense in a lot of clubs. It might not take off, but I definitely could see this happening. I think he's he's actually good with this type of music. I mean, if you listen to the beginning, let me see if I play it real quick. This instrumental is not something that you would think of young boy with. Let's hear. That's definitely unusual where like, we'll just view the next one and see how different it is. DC Marvel. Even this. This is not this also. Let's go back. Smoke one. That's what you normally get from. Kind of like the trap heavy one. And then you have ones like this. Where this is just gonna be something completely different. But um, let's see what we think of that one. Okay, so here we got young boy going. As you might have expected from from what I just showed, he's extremely experimental with this one. DC Marvel. I think there, there's some highs and lows within this one. I think he's kind of inspired by someone like Thug with this. I think he showed that he absolutely can do a song similar to this. Um, for me, I don't quite like it, but I think this is something that he should continue to play with. I mean, if you're going to have a 20 song album, you, you might as well take some risks on there with him. Um, as I said, the first five, I would say that they're really good. Uh, don't know how many I would add. I don't know if he gets repetitive i haven't really listened to him a lot yet i'm gonna have to look back at some of these songs but these do seem pretty good i wonder if we can get a little peek at this instrumental this one might be another different one 
because he started off Leo, light it up. he started off so like murderous on the first four and this five and six is just a complete change of pace um it's almost like he was just writing like he wrote the first four and he wanted that style for that and then he was like all right we did that now we're gonna change it up and he went and he had like the kind of i don't know what you would call it but the <laughs> the less murder more relationship type of music and that sounds like that's how how you bend is going to be maybe even expensive taste and we'll see if if these go back around because i can guarantee you he's going to say something about vaughn with kwando and go crazy about dirk and murder all around the whole way but kwando is also capable of doing other stuff but then if you look even further on you have stuff called like emo rockstar emo love snow bunny so it seems like he's he's bouncing around all these styles all right as i said it was getting a little too um stagnant number nine cage feeling i feel like it was a very similar style in a way to expensive taste but just better execution i enjoyed that one a bit more now we have this and that and then we're finally at the at the song gangsta with quando rondo where we can expect a lot of interesting stuff from that it might be an entirely different angle but with how they were hyping it up i can't imagine that it doesn't go exactly how we expect. But here we go, this and that. Okay, so I never actually listened to the song. This is one where he goes uh, he goes off on Aiden Ross and all that. Great song. I think this was a pretty good one. I think, I think the little piano instrumental here, I'll see if I can get a little piece of it in the beginning. I think he works really well off that and then he brings in like all the trap stuff. Yeah, I think he works really nice on those types of beats. I, I mean, this was just what he does best. And of course, he brings this style back leading right into the Gangsta song with Quando Rondo. Let's hear a little bit of the instrumental. Just tease you a little bit as we're probably going to hear. This is this. I feel like this is most anticipated because this is what he used to to kind of market the whole album to get all the attention for the album was kind of with Quando Rondo talking down on Derek down on Vaughn ended up somehow getting to NLE Choppa and 21 Savage let's hear a little bit of the beginning uh, that's not what I expect well let's see all right so not quite what i expected i don't remember hearing anything about vaughn in that song i did enjoy the song i thought it sounded really good it seems like young boy and Quando both are trying to be like the villains that the industry hates i don't know if the industry likes them but i do believe that if the industry really doesn't like you you would be out i think people really underestimate the real power of the industry and they kind of throw around like the industry is against me a, a bit easily where in reality if they wanted you out you would be out i mean let's not forget someone like six nine who even knows what he's up to now um these last eight songs i'm probably just gonna bounce through real quick i'll, I'll say the highlights maybe some low lights if i find any but i'm real surprised that we didn't get i mean they hyped it all up as if it was gonna be a lot of hatred towards vaughn and dirk and, and at the end again Chapa, but that's just not what we got with the song it didn't impact the song i think the song still sounded good them being against the industry i think some guys don't like them i think as a whole the industry uh, i don't think they're fully against him but i mean what do i know at the end of the day um still sounded good the album overall i'd say is good up until this point a lot of songs but i guess that's just kind of what young boy does so next up we have no like i know let's hear a little bit of it okay all right all right so the song gangster with or gangster with quando quando rondo the guy who was primarily in the beef with everybody um that one doesn't have anything about vaughn or chop or anything but i do believe this is the one i he immediately comes out swinging at, at choppa mentions everybody else but um damn like so maybe the end of this song is going to be where it is maybe you wrote these towards the end or at least a couple of these maybe bring the hook as well uh maybe fish scale and then we go back to the other stuff foolish figure i would imagine is about someone but we'll see we'll see what else is there no like i know i mean at the beginning he was definitely talking about choppa and we'll see what we end up getting towards the end here but damn i thought it was gonna be gangsta it's really the next track is where we get a lot of the uh 
The hatred out of young boy. Interesting. Let's hear what we got for the beginning. Oh, he could be writing about someone here. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, I guess this is where it turns into that type of album. He doesn't start it off with this. He doesn't put it at the end. But right here at 12 and 13, this is where he's really going at Vaughn. This is where he's really going at Dirk. Saying some crazy stuff. He's talking about, uh, what is it, Asian doll, I think. That is, uh, uh, That was Vaughn's girl at some point. Uh, he's coming at Dirk claiming that one of his song titles it was north side or something like that he's saying that's where i'm from he's talking about vaughn talking about uh, a, a lot here okay so we did end up getting it not <laughs> not where i expected it at all but jesus christ man and this is someone coming straight out of jail just a few months ago saying all this he's not taking a passive approach uh, hopefully it doesn't come back to bite him and hopefully he doesn't actually do anything that would put him in that situation but man oh man what is what is going on here um we'll see if fish scale brings more of the same energy but this is this is wild oh it's gonna i definitely gotta say fish scale is another interesting one he kind of does a little bit of a young thug impression on this one as well i think it turns out a lot better than the last one it seems a lot less forced and um he seems a lot more comfortable with it so after this we're gonna have the emo phase of the album um if i end up cutting anything it, it's probably just not a track that i would say is particularly exceptional it, it doesn't stick out too much but let's hear a little bit of what the instrumental will sound like you are definitely okay okay so i'm just gonna throw this out there i felt like the e emo songs and snow bunny were kind of disingenuous coming immediately after everything that came before it um, he just wanted to make songs that, you know, obviously you see emo rockstar and emo love and you, you know what to expect from songs like that. So nobody was all right. Um, Foolish Figure, I think is a pretty good one. We're going to finish it up with these final two. I've noticed, um, probably 20 songs is a bit too long. I probably should have taken a break at some point. I didn't. Oh, well the album, I'm going to end up thinking it was pretty good. It's kind of like he gives you small mixtapes and he combines them to be a, a large album pretty much. Um, so we're just going to see what we got with. I got this long song. We'll see if we end up making it fully through. And then we have Flossin for the end here. Let's get a little snippet. You were recording. Interesting. I wow. What an interesting song to have at the end here. I got this probably going to be the best song in the album just because it gives you a lot more of how, how young boy thinks. And I don't know if I've ever heard him say anything like this before. He, uh, he's saying that he doesn't see himself as a role model by any means. He doesn't know why he's living the way he lives, kind of to some extent. He he wanted to stack the money up for his kids, and he does not want them to at all follow in the footsteps of what he's doing. And he doesn't ever want them banging. He doesn't, he doesn't want them doing any, like, any of the stuff he's doing, which is wild. He, uh, this is, this is interesting to hear. And he doesn't even know why he's currently living like this. He just doesn't, it seems like even he's kind of not sure why he's living the way he is he's just he's just doing it uh this is crazy i think that was actually a really good song the actual song part of it and then at the end he has like his little monologue obviously you're not going to want to listen to that every time but definitely it, it brings you into a way um a way that he thinks where it almost it almost doesn't match anything else that he does at all i wonder if he um if he feels as though he's forced to kind of do what he does because of the music he makes and everything like that and the image he wants to upkeep and everything but then he puts out some songs like this and he puts out some of the love songs and everything kind of love songs that he has and it's just kind of and it's a really interesting mix he's a really interesting artist i have to say when you throw something like this out there but <laughs> at the same time the way you were marketing the album is with all the aggression towards everyone it's you do wonder if it's something that he feels like he has to do or maybe it's just something that he naturally does all the way before he got all the way on before he came all the way up this is what he was doing so maybe he just kept doing it and he just never stopped um with with legal cases he's he's been through you would hope he, he kind of calms down with the aggressive stuff a little bit just so because everyone's gonna mention it judges are gonna mention it, everything like that every time he gets in trouble people are gonna point out some of these crazy songs and crazy beefs that he got in which, um, if you guys don't know, I think I saw an article that Jay-Z and Kanye were kind of, or someone maybe, were trying to, to get a, a law passed 
where you can't use artists music in, in court against them but um having this out there will help him honestly because he could point to this song and point out i don't know it's, it's just crazy with all the other stuff that he puts out uh, i don't know what to expect from this bonus song now i don't i don't think it's gonna match that at all it's probably gonna be uh i don't know i have no idea let's, let's get a little snippet here that song number 19 if you're really a fan of young boy um i'm not that crazy into him i thought it's interesting really getting an idea of how an artist thinks and everything like that and having him kind of really break everything down on the track and mentioning that his kids will have both of his fathers have all of his brothers all his family and just his focus on his kids and on on them not just not doing what he did and understanding that he's not he's like a foolish figure foolish role model kind of idea he's, he's not someone that you want to follow in the footsteps of really interesting and now we're going to go to whatever this bonus song is I, I don't know if there's a better way to end it than track 19 so let's see we got whatever this is okay this is kind of what i'm worried about i feel like um yeah i get it i get it i get the layout i really do but i feel like oh hey hey, hey. i i feel like he um just <laughs> i feel like he doesn't really plan out how he's gonna how he's gonna put these albums out or maybe his label does it for him but I, I just feel like it's really strange the way it goes. It seems like they just tried to group similar songs kind of inconsistently. You start off with aggressive and then you go kind of to, I don't know, love song and then you go aggressive and then you go kind of love song emo and then you go, you know, inspirational or whatever. Like uh, it's a really deep song and then like eh, just throwing this extra one and it's like whatever you want to do. I, I think young boy did a great job here. I think he's consistent. I think he's really consistent. I think he has a low floor. If you like him, you're probably going to like the majority of his songs, similar to Juice World. With Juice World, he, he didn't miss for any of his, his uh, really dedicated fans. I feel like if you're a big fan of uh, Young Boy NBA, you're going to like the vast majority of his songs. There's definitely going to be a few on there that um, kind of get old, but it's going to be the type where if you're just playing it on a car ride or something like that, there's not going to be all that many skips. Uh, overall, great album. We're going to see if hopefully he stays away from all this beef and everything that he started because like i said you want to see him just kind of lay low for a bit and just not get arrested or anything like that he's putting on kwando i think kwando's a promising artist and again for kwando you'd like to see him lay low a little bit you guys you're up you won you don't need to keep doing any of this crazy stuff that you're doing um but yeah i mean i, I think there's no doubt that we all know young boy is talented that's just, I don't think there's any debate about that. He has an ability to just make good music that just not everybody has. He's consistent with it. He's putting it out. He's crazy work ethic, right? He's putting out like one or two albums every year. And every time they do, I'm pretty sure, crazy numbers right away. So he's definitely got a dedicated fan base as well. There's multiple songs that I'm going to end up probably adding from here. Uh, well done. So uh, I guess that's all I really got. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. If I missed anything, go ahead and comment it. I'll check it out. If you think this will do crazy streams, if you want to put any predictions for this album, go ahead and throw that in the comments as well, and I'll see you guys later.